Welcome to the Virgo Vibe, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, uh, check the description box down below and you'll find all my information. Overall energy, we got the Four of Spring. It says, be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. Uh, you guys, I feel like all in all, you're just feeling really stable today. I feel like, uh, you know, stable emotionally, stable, like feeling good. Maybe for some of you, maybe you're working from home today. For others of you, you could be definitely getting calls when it comes to your business, especially when it comes to the morning time. It says Queen of Autumn, generous, stylish, grace it. Are gracious and practical. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The availability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So this has a lot to do with business, especially when it comes to stability in business. I think it has a lot to do with your life experiences and maybe what you do for a living. I do feel like this has a lot to do with business here today because we do have the Six of Autumn. Six of Autumn says the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money, borrow wisely or repaying a debt. I feel like there's a, a thing here with reciprocity. It could be you and another person coming together and working together, whether it's for some of you, it could have something to do with your health because pentacles isn't just always wealth. It is, um, it is health as well. So we want to, uh, I feel like someone here is I, I, someone here is doing a house call. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're doing a house call, uh, going to someone's home for a, a business opportunity. Uh, overall, or the last card out says, King of Winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, and emotional. Uh, get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking, uh, unemotional relationships. So this is all about your, you know, being analytical. It could be somebody that you are coming into contact with, or someone who here who is going to tell you a deep truth. For others of you, it could be a father by the end of the day, and maybe you're dealing with your mom at the beginning of the day. For others of you, this has something to do with business, and I do am feeling like a business call. Uh, you know, you could definitely be working with a masculine by the end of the day, though, and or somebody who is, uh, you know who is very wise is what I'm getting out of this. Um, let's go ahead and find out what this means. Spirit, please show me for Monday for the Virgo vibe. For Monday for the Virgos. Yeah, the star. So yes, it does have something to do with healing. Uh, this could have something to do with um, you know, your faith, it can have something to do with your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. Maybe for some of you, this has to do with business. Uh, and yeah, and something that is not traditional. I don't feel like whatever you're doing is very traditional. It can be, you know, being somebody who people look up to, but in a very untraditional manner. Like this would be a, a spiritual or, a, you know, a religious factor. And maybe you're doing things in more of a spiritual factor for those of you who are doing uh, psychic research readings and things like that. And so I do feel like, uh, you know, whatever obstacles have been in the way, I do feel like those are getting ready to be overcome. And why is this King of Winter here, Spirit? Ooh, the King of Winter is here because of the Queen of Winter. So some of you guys, you're dealing maybe with a, a wife and a child, okay, and just working. For others of you, this has to do with somebody who has been watching what you do, and this person is wanting to work with you. Uh, this definitely could be somebody spying on you as well, uh, and I don't feel like it's in a creepy way considering it is the King and the Queen of Swords. I do feel like it's someone that you know, and this person is saying, I want to to work with you. So I really do feel, and the overall energy is the lovers, yes, head and heart decision, four of wands, uh, someone here definitely getting married, um, getting engaged. Uh, when I do see the king and queen, um, wow, this is three major arcanas here. We have the star, the lovers, and the hierophant. Even if the hierophant is in reverse, uh, it's still here. It just shows me like an, a very non-traditional uh, setting is what I'm really getting out of this. Uh, and give and take here. I feel like today is definitely not a small day. Um, I feel... Yeah, there's something here about the keys to a home. The keys to... There's keys here. Lots of communication by the evening, so I don't. Uh, you're there's definitely going to be a lot of talk, a lot of communication. Someone needing to get uh, information from you. 
there could be three of you having a conversation is what I'm getting. You and a couple of other people. Or working with a few other people. I'm really getting the work vibe for today. Lots of work. Not surprised because we do have the sun still in Capricorn. So uh, this could definitely be about work. Yeah. And you guys, there it is. Finances and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor in your love right life right now. I feel like you have really just got your head and nose to the grindstone. You've got your head in your work. And really, that's all there is to it. The next card out says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like, you know, if there isn't this reciprocity in a relationship, I definitely feel like if you're not with somebody, which a lot of Virgos are single, uh, I feel like you are just really, you know, working on, you know, getting your work done done whatever that may be and then, oh there it is deception and pay attention to the red flags so be mindful at the end of the day um, because I feel like it, it, mm, I feel like uh, deceit is going to be uncovered and I feel like again whatever lies have been being told there is going to be, so maybe your kids, okay, this is for like the mundane, for those of you who have children, maybe your child like lies about something and you find out what that is. And so I feel like there's a confrontation later on and there's a discussion. For some of you, it's a discussion, you know, on working on family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, you know. So maybe for some of you, you've been having issues with your children. And um, I don't really feel like this is love, love today, you guys, for Um I just feel like, you know, that you need to bring love into the situation. But I do feel like you know be mindful not to bring the deception at home for those of you who are married you know I feel like you know things can be being uncovered truths can be being uncovered and that can go with any area of our lives uh, for those of you uh, so for some of you you're definitely going through a breakup um, and you guys are going to be working on healing and I feel like your healing is just for you to put your nose to the grindstone um, you know I don't I'm not getting a whole lot of like coming together for those of you single Virgos I'm just not getting it I do see someone here who may be watching you who does see you as um, someone that they definitely it, it's a mind connection so at the end of the day but again um, for some of you, this person, they could be overthinking, overanalyzing. So it really just depends on where you're at. I'm getting a lot of messages with these cards, but all in all today, you guys, this is about your finances and career. And I feel like you're getting ready to take it to a whole nother level and you're going to be really happy and it's going to bring you uh, stability in your life. Congratulations, Virgos. Uh, you guys are making it to the next level. Anyway, I love you all and we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.